Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 11. Thoughts? This episode was called Aftershocks. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers in this video for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive into the episode. So, yeah, we see Gordon as a kid, and, you know, he's, apparently his power is teleportation, and, yeah, as a kid he was struggling to control it. And I like the point made that, you know, he's the exact right age for this. Old enough to understand, young enough to adjust. You know, they know, you know, every single cell in his body has been changed. So it's just puberty, I guess. And... Let's see. Yeah, the... the we see the the Hydra heads, and one of them is you know he looks like maybe a, a Saudi, you know, one of the one of the yeah, um, someone important in Saudi Arabia, which you know I appreciate the restraint to only put one Muslim there, or one, you know, person who's, like, obviously Muslim, and, I mean, I'm not making any excuses for powerful people in Saudi Arabia. They do some pretty terrible things, uh, you know. I'm not saying that they're worse. I don't think that Islam is worse than Christianity, but, yeah. You know, they, they do, they, they're able to get away with really bad things because of how little freedom there is there, which does not mean, I think, that America should, like, invade or something. There is one, they refer to him as the banker, and I'm guessing he's supposed to be, like, Jewish. Again, I admire their restraint. I wouldn't hate it if there were no Jews or Muslims there, because there's already so, Amer so many Americans who think that, you know, secret cabal of Jews run the world and are making everything terrible. Like, there's powerful people behind the scenes, sure. Maybe, you know, it, I could imagine some of them are Jewish, but the Jewish ones are not worse than the Christian ones. I, I do appreciate, you know, the idea that at least one of the Hydra heads is involved in the world of banking. Like, that's how they get the money. They aren't, they aren't exactly the March of Dimes. And... Yeah, very, very cool when Reyna, like, kills a guy off-screen and then kills a couple, like, you know, on camera and she's, like, slashing at them and there's, like, blood. Like, it's... I, I really appreciate that this corner of the MCU does have blood it just it feels weird to have so many so much death so much violence in the movies with absolutely no blood you know and here just yeah and i also really appreciate like excellent makeup job and you know for the sake of the actress and the makeup department they don't have her like for for most of her screen time she's hooded so they don't have to do the quills that was, you know, it, that used to be her hair, now it's all quills. You know, that's, I could really appreciate not wanting to, 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 that must have taken forever. And, yeah, really appreciate when you have, like, these kind of creatures, and you actually make them, like, off-putting looking, not just like, I, I mean, she looks cool, she looks badass. You know, but she's also like, you know, you can understand why people back away when they see her kind of thing. And the, yeah, you know, I, I quite appreciate, you know, she, she tells Zabo, I, you know, I was supposed to be beautiful, I was supposed to be an angel, and it is this thing of, you know, 
be careful what you wish for. She's been looking to change for so long, you know, years, and now she gets it, and yeah, she didn't think about, you know, this is like when you, you know, like with stories about eternal life, and like if someone invents time travel, there's always a, a limitation, there's always a downside, you know, and yeah, really appreciate the, you know, we've had a lot of stories where someone seeks something, you know, something that's wrong, something that people tell them, you can't get that, and if you did, you wouldn't be happy with what you found. They don't heed the warnings, and it's horrifying, you know, I, I'm still a fan. And... Bobby helps Sky, bringing her, you know, snacks, both healthy and unhealthy, and, like, a soda. And so just, she's such a sweetheart, although she does, as revealed by the end of the episode, have some agenda that we don't quite know yet. They were looking for Fury's Toolbox. So, yeah, that's... I don't know if they just don't trust Coulson anymore or what exactly because you know certainly Mac really struggles to trust Coulson at this point which you can understand you know he saw Coulson when you know when Coulson was was being was completely obsessed and uh, let's see what was the other thing um, yeah you know Lance pointed out Bobby didn't really take a side during the big argument because she sides with Mac and she didn't want anyone to suspect and to, to like start watching if the two of them were spending time together. At least that's my theory. And let's see. Yeah, and you know, they, they talk about, you know, so so tired of dealing with this alien crap. I don't know. I think your alien homages have been quite impressive. I don't think they've been crap at all. Like, come on. They they like lower down and they're walking around in in suits and you know, in something that you know, yeah, in some alien thing that yeah. I I I really got an alien vibe off the and I am here for it. And yeah, the, the argument, I really appreciate, like, it does feel like these are things that, you know, Mac has been wanting to say this f since he saw Coulson really lose it, and, you know, and, and yeah, what he says, you know, you can understand his perspective. This would not have happened if Coulson hadn't been so obsessed with this alien stuff, you know, and yeah, you know, I, I don't know that I necessarily completely agree, but you can completely understand where he's coming from. And, and, and yeah, every, you know, every major character got a great, like, character moment in that discussion, you know. It's, you know, yeah, um, May tries to call rank on Mac. You know, Lance is like, really? Rank? To which Bobby is like, come on, Lance, you're making this worse. You know, it's just everyone, everything felt, you know, completely in character. Just, yeah, great. And... Yeah, and, you know, Sky's powers are manifesting. She's struggling to, you know, control. She does manage to control, but it does look like the argument is going to push it over the top. You know, later in the episode, she does not, uh, yeah. And <laughs> so Bakshi being rescued was staged how did they, like, crash the car like that in a way that was completely safe? 
I don't know. I feel like they could have come up with some let's be honest, someone working on this episode really wanted to to do a, a car crash. You know, this is this is like on prison break when like some you know someone is trying to stop a car because there's someone inside they want to rescue and they just like ram into it and it flips over and just yeah it's it's there's some people working on some of these shows that really like flipping over cars and such and honestly i i who am i to say i i love watching it and i can imagine it's incredibly fun to actually do so yeah and <laughs> there, there's only four left. You know what that means. I, I don't know what that means. You know, and badass shoots all four of them. That's what that means. Now I know. And Coulson goes like full, like just so you know, such such drama. You'll never take us alive. <laughs> And May also does call him out on that afterwards, and then he points out, if you wrote the script, there no one would have any lines. And, yeah, you know, Lance seemingly frees, you know, the audience knows, oh, it must have been staged. But yeah, Bakshi hasn't met Lance before. You know, there's, he he's seen several of the members of, of Colson's team, but he's never encountered Lance before just then. You know, like, you couldn't do it with Bobby, for example. That would completely, you know, yeah. And... And, and yeah, it is also, like, other than the crash, yeah, you could, you could stage that stuff. You know, they're just, they've got squibs and blanks. You know, that's not difficult, you know, it's not like Bakshi got a chance to check anyone's pulse. You know, all they have to do is follow the choreography, play dead when that's appropriate, and that's it. And... Let's see... Yeah, and, and you know, yeah, Zabo tells, you know tells Reyna there is no reversing this. This is not a game of Uno. Put that card away. Really enjoyed the scene. But, yeah, great great scene between the two of them. And, you know, yeah, Zabo's like, what? Dude, this, is, this is what you wanted. There's no reason for us to work together anymore. You know, and the... Uh, let's see, we have... Yes, Sky and Simmons... And, yeah, Simmons getting very intense and very, very, like, harsh. But she also, you know, you can understand where, you know, I, I agree with with Fitz later when he says, you know, we, we can't, people can't know that you've changed until things calm way the F down here. And then he turns back into Moon Knight. And the, the, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think I was making it clear what I was referencing there. And, yeah, I like Bobby <laughs> telling Lance he sounds like a douchebag with the American accent. I mean, someone had to say it. And, yeah, and, and yeah, Lance asks you know, Bobby, and she says it's a support group. That's the secret that she and Mac are keeping, which, you know, by the end of the episode, that does appear to be a lie. She said she never lied to him, and that she, you know, so so this must be big, that she is lying to him now. And... Yeah, and Simmons says, you know, they should maybe put down Reyna. And, yeah, Lance completely convinced Bakshi. So, the, the you know, he can, and he manages to convince Dr. List. And 
yeah, you know, he he sends out the the order, and all of them wipe each other. You know, yeah, yeah. The just very very clever, and and you have that line. I think it's May who says, you know, Coulson remembered that Hydra don't have the, you know, what's it called? Um. Yeah, you know, Hydra don't have loyalty, and and the you know, and and yeah, that is it is true of a lot of real life, like you know, some of some of the worst people in history were extremely paranoid, you know, and were willing to kill people that they had worked closely with. You know, one of the big reasons that Stalin, you know, Stalin could have done substantially better in World War II, if not for having his generals executed, because he was convinced that they were plotting against him. And so he stuck fighting a war without competent generals, you know. So, yeah, it's really excellent. Yeah. And, yeah, and Reyna looks like she's about to step into traffic. And Fitz, you know, says the, the watch counted 300 BPM. Which is very clever because this is, you know, this is the payoff to the watch. You know, I thought the payoff was going to be that her pulse really quickened when Grant told her about her father. But I'm thinking this was the payoff, you know, because that, yeah, he, he says that's inhuman, which, is it a spoiler at this point to say, so they've dropped the word inhuman, they've, they've spoken of pterogenesis, yeah, um, I guess I'll wait until the show spells it out, but if you know very much about the comics, you know exactly what happened here. And it's very clever, because when Fitz says, that's inhuman, you know, if you don't know anything about the comics, and you just hear that, yeah, that word sounds appropriate in the circumstances, you know. And... Yeah, Fitz reveals he knows Sky caused the collapse. And, yeah, uh, a squad tried to take out the car with Bobby and Lance in it, and the car is bulletproof and then has, like, machine guns hidden that can deploy and fire in all directions. See, this is what Sonny Corleone was missing. And, yeah, Bakshi realizes that it was, you know, yeah, they managed to take out the Hydra heads by tricking Bakshi and Dr. List into, yeah, very, very clever. And we see Fitz choose to cover for Sky, you know, claim that it was his fault that there's broken glass. And, yeah, I've said everything else that I wanted about the scene, but yeah, just, I, I really appreciate that he does, you know, he, he came to his senses, because after all, you know, it's Sky. he knows her, he knows that she's not, like, intentionally cruel, and, yeah, Gordon teleports away Reyna, and see, yeah, and we get the the post credit scene with the scan, so that's that's why the the Lola model was being used. It was specifically to 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 see if he could find Fury's toolbox. And the the groups around and and like 
swap stories about uh, trip and yeah it's it's very sweet i always really appreciate when a tv show after an important character dies has an episode where some of the other characters like actually grieve actually try to process it and we do see you know some of them get very angry and try to like find out you know who's responsible for this because it's very human to want someone to pay when something hurts when we lose something permanently and you know the the yeah you know by the end of the episode they they're at the the stage where they can sit and just yeah trade stories and yeah and i completely agree you know if if trip knew she told that story he wouldn't be mad he would say you know what well, ah, crap i think it might be in the um some something like no girl or something you know i'm not going to do the the black scent but yeah i 100% agree that is exactly what he yeah so let's see Yes, so the MDB trivia for the episode points out the Hydra operative, played by Henry Goodman, who appeared with Baron von Strucker in the mid credit scene from Captain America the Winter Soldier, makes an appearance and is revealed to be named Dr. List. Really appreciate that, because that is, yeah, he, you know, in, in the movie, he just, he appears, and we don't really see more, so, yeah, giving more... And, uh, yeah, Octavian Bloom was played by Fred Dreyer, best known for Hunter. From 84, we played an LAPD homicide detective named Rick Hunter. He was killed here by a character named Lance Hunter, who was acting in more or less of a law enforcement capacity. I don't know why 20 people thought that was unhelpful, but okay. And, yeah, the the... Right, I like Lance saying, you know, well, yeah, when Bobby says, drop the accent, makes you sound like a douchebag, he says, now you know what it feels like for me to live in this country, which, yeah, fair. And the, let's see, yeah, the, the, fact that like over the course of the episode people talk very harshly about I suppose not Sky herself but like you know she blames herself and hearing others you know Simmons says oh it's like a plague you know an epidemic and yeah which yeah the the Back when the episode first aired, it had been a while since, like, certainly since a pandemic. And, let's see. Right, yeah, someone did indeed submit a, a good chunk to, to memorable quotes of the discussion between the different team members. See. And I think that might be Yeah. Um Right, also the fact that, that Colson gets pushed so far, you know. He says, we cut off the head while Hydra scrambles for a new one. I will crush them. And... Yeah, and the discussion between Mac and Fitz. And I, you know, I like when Fitz points out, I've never known you to be afraid to talk about anything. And, yeah, Bobby Morse calling 
Sky, a rock star. Yeah, and the the you know Reina describing herself as some gnarled freak of nature covered in thorns, and Sabo responds, "You always did like flowers." And yeah, you know she says they hurt, and it's all your fault. And yeah, you know that that detail that she changed, and it. Yeah, you know, it, it hurts and she hates the her appearance now. You know, very, very good classic sort of, you know, beware of what you wish for. So, uh, let's see. I might be able to do an episode tomorrow. If not, the next episode video I do will be Friday. So, until then... I think you're a rock star.